Hello and welcome to The Measure of Whiskey, where we discuss all things Scotch whiskey. Today we are going to talk about chill filtration. Right, so what we're going to try and discover, first of all, what is chill filtration? Secondly, why would certain distilleries decide to use it? And third, and most importantly, does it make any difference to the final expression of the dram? Chill filtration has been around for decades, and if you look at some of your bottles or the boxes that your bottles come in, it may or may not say non-chill filtered. Unlikely that it's going to say that it is chill filtered, predominantly you're going to see non-chill filtered on the bottle or on the box. Right, so what is chill filtration then? Well, chill filtration happens right before the whiskey is put into the bottle, so right at the end of the maturation process. And essentially what happens is the whiskey is brought down to round about zero degrees, so they cool it right down and they repeatedly pass it through a really tight sieve. And basically what they're trying to do there is remove certain fatty acids and esters that naturally occur in the whiskey. So that's the process of chill filtration, but why then do certain distilleries decide to use chill filtration when they are producing their whiskey? Well, there's one main reason why certain distilleries will chill filter their dram, and it's because of my good old buddy, ice. When whiskey gets to a certain temperature, occasionally what might happen is it becomes a little bit cloudy and certain people might think that their whiskey is somehow tainted, that there's something wrong with the dram in their glass. If they put ice in it, it gets to a low temperature, it then becomes cloudy. You know, people start to get a little bit nervous about what's wrong with my whiskey. The process of chill filtration by removing those fatty acids and those esters allows the whiskey to drop down to that low, low temperature without becoming cloudy. That's the main reason for chill filtration. And in certain whiskey markets around the world, people put ice in their whiskey. Everybody knows how I feel about putting ice in a single malt whiskey, but particularly in parts of Asia, the Asian market likes to put ice into their whiskey. Therefore, certain distilleries want to make sure that when these people put ice in their whiskey, it looks crystal clear, it looks as good as it does when it's at room temperature, it doesn't look tainted. So that's predominantly why certain distilleries will chill filter their whiskey. So when you see on the side of the box or the bottle that it says non-chill filtered, you know that it hasn't gone through that process. And a lot of distilleries feel like it's important to make that point, that it hasn't been chill filtered. And a lot of that has to do with marketing as well. Certain distilleries will make sure that you know that it's not chill filtered because they feel like their consumers would prefer it to be in what they would consider its natural state. It hasn't been tampered with in any way. So is it fair to assume then that if the box doesn't say non-chill filtered that it has been chill filtered? Absolutely not. Each distillery has its own method of creating their final expression and even down to the, the expression itself, they may chill filter some of their whiskies, they may not chill filter other, you know, you really just have to dive into that, go on the internet and try and figure it out if it's that important to you. So I want to do a quick experiment here, I'm going to put ice in each of these drams and I'm going to see if it makes any difference. On my right hand side I have a Glenlivet 12 which I know is chill filtered. It's gone through the chill filtration process beautifully clear at the moment, it looks fantastic. On my left I have a Highland Park which I know is non-chill filtered, clearly states it right on the box, non-chill filtered. So if the theory is right when I put ice in the Highland Park it should or it may turn a little bit cloudy. Okay here we go, lump of ice in the Glenlivet, lump of ice in the Highland Park. So we already know what impact this ice is going to have on the dram itself. If you're unsure, go check out my previous video which states you should never put ice in a single malt scotch whiskey. 
okay? Um, we know for sure that it is going to affect the aroma, so the nosing is going to be very, very dull. The taste is going to be obviously quite diluted and it's going to feel a little bit dull as well. That's what ice does when it drops the, the whiskey down to that sort of temperature, right? But importantly, what we want to do here is we want to see whether or not it turns the whiskey cloudy. All right, so the ice has been in both of these drams for about a minute now. The Glenlivet, which we know is chill filtered, remains pretty clear. I would suggest there's a little bit of cloudiness, but nothing dramatic. It still remains quite clear. Sorry if you can't quite see this through the camera, but the Highland Park, on the other hand, which is clearly stated non-chill filtered, that's got a cloudy element to it, without a doubt. You can see the difference there. Right, so importantly, does chill filtration make any difference to the smell or the taste of the dram? According to the experts, no, it doesn't. Uh, there's been numerous studies done on this and expert whiskey panels have came to the conclusion by and large that it doesn't make any difference to the smell or the taste of the whiskey. Where there is a bit more discussion is the mouthfeel. Certain people believe that it has a little bit of an effect on the mouthfeel, removing those fatty acids and those esters. Some people would say that it makes it feel a little bit thinner. Some people would say it doesn't. But by and large, it doesn't really make any difference whatsoever. Of course, the biggest difference that we're going to see here is by putting the ice in, we lower the temperature, then we have a dramatic effect on the nosing, the taste, the mouthfeel and the finish. But with regards to the chill filtration process, not really. If you were to ask me, could I tell the difference? Absolutely not. And if you were to ask me if I had a preference over chill filtered or non-chill filtered, Perhaps I would say yes to the non-chill filtered because I would like the dram to be in its natural state that it hasn't been tampered with in any way whatsoever but I certainly would not knock back a whiskey because it said that it's chill filtered. It really doesn't make that much of a difference for me personally therefore it doesn't really matter. Okay so that's it for chill filtration. Do you have a strong opinion on chill filtered whiskies? Do you feel like the chill filtration process makes any dramatic difference? If so, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and until next time... Oh, wait a minute, there's ice in that. Well, I'm certainly not pouring it down the sink. Slange. <laughs>